So that's a good question. So we've had 10A inhibitors around for prevention of stroke in AFib. We've had for treatment of VTE, but now we have an indication for prevention of VTE, which is a really important thing. I'm going to overshare a bit because my mother has had a VTE in the past, and it's one of those things. Every Hers was provoked, and every time she gets on a plane, I get nervous. But the fact that there could be something now to prophylax against that is, is huge because the downstream effects of VTE, morbidity, it happens most commonly in, in older patients. They don't always recover. So having something that can prevent that is, is big. That's a good question. I think um, as a cardiologist, we're used to seeing the downsides are what happens afterwards, and most of these patients are going to be cared for by primary care physicians, and certainly anyone who's at risk, that dis that discussion needs to happen, and certainly anyone who's ever had a prior VTE, that discussion needs to happen. Um, if it were my patient and they happened to be in my clinic, I would certainly have that discussion, as I will with my mother. So I think I'm a preventive cardiologist. I run the program in preventive cardiology. It is so much better to prevent something than to worry about treating it because there are certain things where you can't always get back full functioning. So I think if you have a person at risk, it makes so much sense to think about preventing this. Well, so every time we deal with anticoagulants or even antiplatelets, it's always a balancing act between efficacy against thrombosis and safety against bleeding. So that's where we have to get very smart about risk assessment and, and figure out who's at risk most. I, what I always tell my patients, my trainees, my fellow colleagues is you have to figure out what's likely to kill that patient today. Not, and, I, and I agree that there's always, every drug has potential side effects. You always have to consider. But the most important question to say is, what is your major threat to life right now?